Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we will be learning about array creation using ones and zeros. In the introduction video, we know how to create 1D, 2D and 3D arrays. In addition to that, we have many ways to create the arrays based on our requirement. Example like ones and zeros, then using the numerical range, then using the existing data. There are several ways available to create the arrays. In this video, we will be learning using ones and zeros. We have many methods, but in this video, we will be learning five methods numpy.mt, numpy.0, numpy.ones, numpy.i, and numpy.full. These five methods we will see one by one. The first one is numpy.mt. From the name itself, you would have guessed we are going to create an empty array. As usual, import. We have to import the numpy library, numpy as np. This is a mandatory step. If you type once, it's more than enough. After that, you no need to mention this code again and again. Now, np dot empty empty then this we have to mention the shape so square bracket 2 comma 2 that is 2 cross 2 matrix just execute so array is created with 2 cross 2 and uh, this is an empty but it's giving a random numbers because we didn't initialize any value so it took some random numbers in this four places the first method is using empty. We can create the empty array as per the given shape. One more example, 3 comma 3, execute. 3 into 3 matrix is created. And these values are random values the system picked because we didn't initialize any value. Hope you understood how to create an empty array as per the required shape. The second method is using zeros. When you create using zeros, it will return a new array of given shape and type filled with zeros. We have already imported the numpy array. So directly I am creating a variable a equal to np dot zeros. But then this chain 3. It's a one dimensional array. Print a. When we execute, by default d type is float one dimensional array with three values one more example 3 into 3 we can do it b equal to np dot zeros 3 comma 3 print b execute so 3 cross 3 matrix all the values it is filled with 0 and it's a float value this is how we can create the numpy array using zero methods the third method is using ones a simple guess the matrix going to be with one a equal to np dot ones same example just i'm going to fill three print a execute here also the default is float data type and it is filled with three ones one more example b equal to np dot ones three comma three execute matrix is created and all the values filled up with one and the fourth method is numpy dot i this returns the two dimensional array with ones on the diagonals and zeros elsewhere it is also called as diagonal matrix let me show you an example a equal to np dot i number two print a execute so it's a 2 cross 2, 2 rows, 2 column. The diagonal here is 1, 1. One more example b equal to np dot i 3. Print b run. A diagonal matrix is created and its shape is 3 cross 3. And the diagonal is filled by 1 and rest of the value is filled by 0. That is the use of i method. And fifth method is using full. This will return a new array of given shape and size and filled with 
fill value so it's like we are going to create an array the values will be instead of 0 and 1 we can give some other value the syntax for that is a equal to np dot full the parameters i want to create two rows four column two cross four shape and the value should be five print a execute so two rows four columns two cross four matrix and all the values filled with five one more example b equal to np dot full now three rows two column and all the values should be filled with 10 print p execute so it's the three row two column three cross two matrix and each element filled with number 10 so that's the use of full method so let's do a short recap arrays can be created using ones and zeros the first method is numpy.empty which is used to create an empty array as per the given shape and type and the values will be auto generated and it is uninitialized and second method is numpy.0 where you create an array and each element will be filled with zero as per the given shape and type by default data type is float and third one is numpy dot ones which is used to create an array as per the mentioned shape and size and each element will be filled with number one and fourth element i i means always remember like a diagonal matrix where the diagonal value will be filled with one and rest of the value will be filled with zero here one the rest of value zero and fifth method numpy dot full which is used to create an array as per the mentioned shape and each element will be filled with the mentioned value first example it's five in the second example it is ten Hope you got a clear picture how to create the arrays using ones and zeros. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.